friends how are you all doing i hope you're all fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here if you are a returning subscriber may god bless you for your love and your support i really appreciate much but if it's your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear beautiful friends in our today's video i am going to be responding to some of the questions that you guys have been asking me recently because <laughs> i can't just keep quiet about them and just ignore <laughs> everything not at all guys also there is something that i saw it was going on on tiktok i was sent a link and I checked the video after watching that video. I was like, okay, I think I've got something to tell my dear beautiful ladies that are on online dating apps searching for the one. Because sometimes guys, if you watch a video like that and you don't think carefully, if you are on online dating apps, you can be discouraged. So I am here guys to encourage you, inspire you, so that you can keep on with your search. But how? With your eyes wide open. <laughs> yeah. So dear friends, to start with, I'm going to be starting with that story that I saw on TikTok of that black African lady that found love on online dating apps with an American guy. Everything seemed very, very good. And later on, this guy took the lady to America and dumped her. So listening to that story, if you want to jump into a conclusion, you can be like, oh my God, white men are very, very bad. Oh my God, American guys are really, really bad. Oh my God, online dating apps is enough for me because I cannot find anyone serious there. Maybe I might find someone and then that someone turns out to be like a guy in the story. I be treated like that lady in the story. The guy dumps me. <laughs> so I think it is time to delete all these dating apps. No wonder I've been here for five years and I haven't found anyone. No wonder I have been coming across crazy, crazy guys on online dating apps. This thing does not work. To tell you the truth, guys, even listening a bit of that story, <laughs> you can see the lady herself was saying, I saw the red flags and chose to ignore them because the guy used to take care of her and her family. <laughs> So Bella has been here advising you, telling you guys, do not ignore the red flags. No matter how that guy spoils you, because you do not need to just look here. You have to think of the future. The reality of the life you are going to be living in the future with that guy so don't be carried away with the money that he sends you maybe in your country and then you close your eyes <laughs> and be like i have found the one another thing i advise you guys when you are chatting with a guy then this guy starts talking of inviting you to his country guys that's a risky decision to take like moving from your country to a guy's country. Let's take an example. You are from Uganda. You are a Ugandan lady. And then maybe you find an Italian guy, a guy, let's say from Sweden. And then this guy is like, I want you to come to my country. I am very busy due to my work. I cannot come to meet you in your country. You need to be very, very careful. Before you move your legs from your country, to this guy's country, you have to be sure that the guy is the one. So the question comes, Bella, how will I know the guy is the one? I did a video too, and I talked about that. With the right guy, it doesn't need much to know he is the one. Trust me, dear beautiful ladies. The problem here comes when we ignore the red flags. The truth is, guys, yes, white men are just normal people, just like us black people. But what makes us different? 
culture and traditions yes even how that guy was raised it is very very important so there are some things these white men do and for them they are just normal things <laughs> or if another white guy hears that a white guy is you know acting that weird manner that us black people will see it's weird he will be like no that's normal yeah things like that exist whereby for us black people it's gonna be something unheard of <laughs> yeah an abomination <laughs> So you really need to be very, very careful as much as you're searching for the one on online dating apps, please, please, it should not be just a word, the one. You have to observe everything. I told you in two details because <laughs> at the end of the day, guys, if you ignore everything, it's you that is going to suffer. <laughs> In that foreign country so you are going to be asking yourself a question like this Bella can a success story later on fail <laughs> chance to be a failure yes if you're not careful if you don't watch the red flags you jump into a relationship with a white guy just because you have been on online dating apps for three years you're not finding anyone then comes a white guy you just take a white guy everything that he tells you it is yes 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 just because you want to get married just because maybe you want to get out of your country just because maybe you want to go abroad and study <laughs> so you got a white guy line dating apps ignored everything later on it's gonna be trouble <laughs> if you remember Miri's story yes at first it was a success and when I was premiering that video I remember very well everyone was like oh wow that is good such a good guy you know at the beginning before you guys came to find out the guy was just a devil you know, a devil himself. <laughs> yes, a story can look so good at the beginning, especially to a lady who does not have enough experience on online dating apps. To a lady who has not done enough research about dating white men. To a lady who did not study a guy she is dating. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna look so good, but later on, it will turn out to be a bad story, not a success story. Even you can remember, there is a story I shared about a Tanzanian lady who went to Spain, and later on, a guy was like, he wants her to ask for an asylum. When you guys watched that video, I remember very well, most of you at the beginning when we were premiering, you started saying, that's a red flag, that's a red flag, that's a red flag. <laughs> Because you have got enough experience on online dating apps and you can notice the red flags, yes. So it was a success story to her, you know, in her own way at the beginning because the guy was spoiling her, you know, she was living so good. <laughs> But at the same time, dating a guy, a guy is telling her, do, do not tell anyone about our relationship. Even your relatives, don't tell them about our relationship. That's a red flag. You shouldn't ignore something like that. So you watch a story like that, then you start being like, no, I knew it. White men are racist. <laughs> I knew it. White men will never love a black woman. They will only take her just to make her suffer. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, while that lady got dumped, but exist laws of interracial marriages that are prospering. You know, exist laws of interracial marriages that are very, very healthy. Yes, fights can be there, but healthy fights. Because <laughs> that's how it is, guys. We are not perfect, guys. For example, I am married to an Italian guy. All is good. He treats me good. He spoils me. He's a good husband. He's a good father. But exists another black African woman out there that is married to an Italian guy and is living hell, you know? Because <laughs> people are different. That is why it is very, very important, even after knowing how are Italian men, how are British men, how are American men, <laughs> when you date them, still you have to study a guy you are dating so that you get to see if you guys are compatible or not compatible. Do not look at the color 
dear beautiful sisters. I think with this, let me end it here and we move to the questions that you guys have been asking me. So guys, Bella, are you doing connections? Bella, do you do hookups? <laughs> I remember recently there is a post I posted on my community post about a Korean guy and there is a lady who had come on Instagram like two days ago and was forcing me to connect her to a white guy. Guys, I've been very, very honest with you concerning the connection thing. I can't sit here and lie to you. I don't have those men to connect to you to. I don't have them. And when we talk of the guys that I posted on the community post that they were searching, it's due to the promise that I promised you guys. When I talked about connections, I told you if it happens, you know, <laughs> that I get a guy who wants to be connected, I am not going to ask you a single coin. I'm going to connect you to that guy without asking you anything in return. Why is that? It's because first of all, I have not spent much of my time talking to a guy, wanting to know what are his hobbies, where is he from, what does he do for a life? No. <laughs> I'm looking for a lady. Oh, yes, I post, you know, on community post. Anyone interested? You get connected and then you have to find out everything about that guy yourself. If he's serious, I don't know. If he's not serious, I don't know, okay? Because, guys, it takes lots of time to start asking a guy his hobbies, where are you from, what are you doing for a living, and all of that. It takes lots, lots of time. <laughs> And I don't have time for that if it is all about connections that you guys are looking for. So if a guy comes, it's not that I'm not going to connect you. No, I'm going to bring the guy on my community post, you know, and tell you here is the guy. And <laughs> to make you laugh a bit about that Korean guy, yes, I connected her to some ladies and later on same same ladies came to me and they're like Bella that's a crazy guy <laughs> he's too possessive he wants to chat all the time <laughs> we're just starting to talk and he is jealousy already telling me it seems I'm very busy I laughed so much but I had told them before that hey <laughs> This is the guy. I don't know much about him. He told me he lives in Italy. This is the little information that I know about him. I screenshotted the messages with that Korean guy and I had to send them to the ladies. Yeah, so that's how it works. If someone comes, I won't be like, no, I'm not going to connect anyone. <laughs> no, I'll bring him to the community post. You try at your own risk. Oh, I'm not responsible. <laughs> Yeah, but me sitting here and tell you, okay, guys, you're going to pay me, then I am going to be connecting you to white guys. I don't have those white guys. I've said this in different, different videos, but still, I get ladies asking me, do you do connections? Do you do hookups? No, guys, I don't. So this takes us to another post that I posted on the community post about matchmaking. So guys, with matchmaking, I just want to take you a little bit back. How did this whole idea come about matchmaking? Number one, I've seen loads of your comments. Oh my God, Bella, you're so good at online dating. You're so good when it comes to interracial dating. Why can't you create a dating app? Bella, why can't you do matchmaking? <laughs> and others, you're like, Bella, please create a WhatsApp group whereby you will be, you know, connecting us with white men. Because <laughs> most of you guys are interested in interracial dating. Not all of you, but most of you here. Something else that gave me this idea, I remember I posted Samantha's story, the lady who was abandoned at the airport in Milan by that Italian boyfriend. That video really went so viral, like lots of people watched that video, which it's not normal for my videos. Not all of my videos perform to that extent. So lots of people got to see that video and I even got some messages 
from black men telling me, Bella, after listening to Samantha's story, I think Samantha is a very genuine lady, a wife material. If it is okay, you can connect me to Samantha. But the problem is, <laughs> Samantha, her original plan <laughs> is to find a white guy. And that's why I never even contacted Samantha concerning those black African men that were interested in Samantha. So me thinking very carefully, because guys, I'm someone who thinks a lot. <laughs> Yeah, so I had to think of that very carefully and I was like, hmm. I've seen how my sisters out there, you guys, how you have been suffering in these dating apps. Like, it has been a struggle <laughs> to find someone serious. And you're asking me to connect you. At that time, my hands are tied. I can't do anything to help you when it comes to connections. So I was like, maybe... I can think of something that will increase chances of these ladies to be found. And that's why in one of the requirements <laughs> for me to match make you is for you to be ready to be seen on YouTube. Because the truth is I'm saying this out loud. <laughs> so that I make everything clear. I'm always honest with you guys and I'm honest even now as I'm talking to you that I don't have white men to connect you to. But what we are going to do, we are going to work together. I have to first see, you know, <laughs> your profile, everything, listen to your story and then I am going to bring you here, but not in a desperate way, not in a way that you want to run from your country and maybe, you know, come to Europe. Not that you are finding someone to support you financially. No. <laughs> in a classy way. So that you can pull attention from single guys all around the world. It is just one way to help you out. And you who has been thinking, maybe I should just delete my online dating profile and focus to that matchmaking that Bella is talking about. <laughs> Dear ladies, do not delete your online dating profile. I'll still be here giving you tips, advice, guidance on online dating apps. Because I've said this before and I'm going to say it again, on online dating apps, you've got enough potential. You have got lots of chances to find the right guy. You have seen online dating success stories that have been bringing you here and the ones that I will be still bringing to you guys, online dating apps works. Only that you need to be very, very patient. And talking of being patient, even with matchmaking, you have to be patient. We are going to be putting your profile out there and pray to God that that serious single guy gets across your profile and then contact me so that I can talk to him, get to know if he is serious or not. Because I have got enough experience, guys, to know a guy who is serious or a guy who is just there to waste time or just to play games. Some of you have been asking, Bella, how long will it take for me to get a match? Guys, I don't know. Still, we depend on God. It is God who knows <laughs> when that right guy will come across your profile, whether here on YouTube, they will be posting here on YouTube, on Facebook, and on Instagram. <laughs> So that we create more chances. We are not giving up for anything. We are going to try all ways to find that right guy. But remember, not in a desperate way. We have to be calm and patient. Wait for that God's time. Important, we have done the right thing. Important, we have created lots of chances to be found. Guys, the matchmaking project is really taking lots of my time. <laughs> I've never been busy like this, yes. It takes courage, not only your courage, guys. Remember, this is something new that I am introducing, something I've never, you know, tried. That is why if you ask me, Bella, do you have a white man to match me with for now? I don't have him, <laughs> but when he 
he sees your profile, of course, we will have them. <laughs> and I know I'll get lots, lots of negative, you know. Who wants to discourage others, people who are frustrated in their lives? <laughs> I'll get those comments, but I don't care, guys. <laughs> I'll keep moving forward for you because I'm confident in what I am doing. I'm not here to tell you, you know, lies, stories. In Swahili, <laughs> say stories are bunwasi. No, I'm not here to tell you that. <laughs> I'm here to do real things. This is the real talk. <laughs> So to you who have been asking me to open a WhatsApp group so that I can match you with single guys. Dear beautiful ladies, <laughs> again, I'm here to tell you the truth because I don't want to tell you lies just to make you happy. No, I can't have a WhatsApp group of 500 single ladies with no single white man <laughs> searching we will chat and chat and chat and I know ladies <laughs> will start even fighting, you know, among us and it won't be healthy. <laughs> it won't be healthy at all. Plus, guys, the way I am busy, I can't handle a WhatsApp group. But if you feel like you have got something to say, if you feel like you want to ask some advice, you know, from other ladies, you know, you know, here on YouTube, you are always free to leave your comment. You're always free to put your comment on the community post. You know, you're always free to send me that question. Then I be the one to post it on the community post so that you can get the response from other ladies and that way you will be helped guys something i'm requesting from you is your cooperation if you really want to find love then let's work together watch all the videos that i upload because when my videos go viral that is when youtube guys are going to be found on youtube so single guys all around the world will get to know oh bella has got genuine intelligent <laughs> sweet kind <laughs> ladies ladies who are ready to settle down you know and start a family <laughs> so another thing that i want to talk about this matchmaking project i don't want to take advantage of you guys i've been here telling you don't accept anyone to take advantage of you not a guy that you're chatting to on online dating apps not even people out there trying to tell you they are going to connect you to single guys where you don't know really where they are getting those single guys. Before you pay, you have to get deep into things and get to understand where is this person getting <laughs> that white guy to connect to me with. Ask questions <laughs> before you do that transaction, okay? So don't accept to be taken advantage of just because of your situation. I don't like to take advantage of people and same, same thing. I don't want people to take advantage of me. I've been telling you how busy I am. <laughs> like I've got lots of things to do. I've got a small baby. She's not all that old. This month on 20th, she would be five years. She needs my attention. So guys, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I work, I do YouTube. I've got you guys on Instagram to talk to. It's a lot, really a lot. Recently, I received a DM from a lady. Then I got back to her and I said hi. Then she was like, Bella, I really enjoy your videos on YouTube. I was like, thank you so much. She asked me one question. Then I responded. And again, another, I responded. And you, I was really, really busy, but I tried my best to respond to her. So she kept on asking questions. I could respond, but in a shorter way, in a way that someone is kindly trying to tell you that I am busy. <laughs> yeah, I don't have all that much time. That is why I told you, you wanna talk to me, you want that, you know, personal advice and guidance, then join my membership so that I can be able to divide my time to everyone of you. It takes lots of time, guys, to chat with you all. Who will chat with a hundred people in a day and at the end of the day, you go away like this. 
no one if i had like two ladies three day you know coming to me to ask for an advice that way i could have just been like okay let's talk no problem even if you ask ladies that talked with me when you guys were still not this much yes i could do it freely <laughs> yeah because i had time you know to talk to every one of you but right now time is not on my side things are really really tight guys get to understand me that is why i'm telling you i don't want to take advantage of you and do not take advantage of me if it is just greetings it has got nothing to do with personal advice and guidance because the videos are here on every situation that you can find yourself in on online dating apps you will find a video in here so if you just want to say hi bella you know i'm your subscriber of course i'll get back to you girl <laughs> we are sisters but if you want to talk to me something will take you know hours and hours <laughs> to find a solution i'm sorry dear beautiful ladies yes i'm doing this with my whole heart i want you guys to find the one but please do not take advantage of me and i am very clever guys when you come you want to take advantage of me i'll notice you very very fast so this lady i could respond to her in a kind way to show her that i am kind busy she kept on asking questions and in the end was like oh wow i thought i would find the same same person i've been seeing on youtube on your videos someone soft charming <laughs> but i found something very different i was like oh okay <laughs> Because guys, I was very kind to this lady. That is why I responded to her at first. And I also remember people used to tell me, Oh my good Bella, you're such an amazing person. Because it is very hard here on Instagram when you write to someone and then they get back to you. <laughs> Most don't. But you're very special. You always respond. <laughs> Now I know why people have been ignoring some of you guys on Instagram. Yes, because I become so kind to you, but how do you pay me back? <laughs> I have my baby here crying for attention, but I decided to respond to you and then you're like, oh wow, I thought I'm going to find that soft, good person. <laughs> like the one I see on YouTube. But anyways, guys, this was just to make everything clear to you guys on how things work. But nothing is changing in this channel. Bella is not changing. I'm the same same Bella that you saw the first video here on YouTube. I'll keep guiding you. I'll keep giving you the tips until you find the one. We will still keeping on creating chances to be found. <laughs> plan A fails, we go to plan B. Plan B fails, we go to plan C <laughs> until we succeed. Because that is how I am. I'm not someone who will just give up on you like that. <laughs> okay. By the way, guys, me talking of you not accepting to be taken advantage of just because of your situation and me not wanting you guys to take advantage of me because of the responsibilities that I have got. I remember I've been telling you a story of a Ugandan lady who found a rich, rich guy on online dating apps. The guy is American and I'm invited to the wedding in Uganda. All costs paid, not me paying. Oh. <laughs> they are the one who will pay for the cost for me to travel, go attend their wedding because the lady is my subscriber. So back <laughs> before all this wedding thing. So when she was telling me the story, she was very honest with me. <laughs> I was like, Bella, when I came across your channel, you know what? I was like, hmm, these people that create, you know, YouTube channels for money and start, you know, talking. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> So she told me, Bella, I did not even watch your video full. I watched, you know, at the beginning and then I forwarded almost the end. I clicked out of the video. <laughs> I started searching knowing that I know everything. So I came across a scammer who scammed me $500. <laughs> And after being scammed, that is when I started, you know, coming back to your channel. I could see, you know, 
your uploads and I had to sit down with a notebook and write everything that you could say but I'm the same same lady when I first saw your YouTube channel I was like hmm these people <laughs> they are only looking for money on YouTube <laughs> Not knowing I'll be the same lady who will come with a notebook and start noting down everything that you say. <laughs> so she was laughing so much and I laughed so loudly <laughs> hearing her saying that. I did not feel offended but the whole thing made me laugh a lot. So before you judge guys, get deep into things. <laughs> is this lady trying to take advantage of you or she is here to help you and is simply asking for your support? <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Yes, guys. <laughs> guys, because I've told you, I get lots of messages on Instagram. Please, please, if you know you sent me a message and maybe I did not get back to you and it is not all about connect me to a white guy, <laughs> please write to me again. I promise to get back to you because sometimes these messages disappear. <laughs> Due to that, I receive lots of messages. It's not that I am ignoring you or I decided to ignore you thank you so much guys for watching this video till now i really appreciate you much for your support may god bless you please i know it reached a point i was kind of ranting <laughs> forgive me we are not perfect right <laughs> yeah but if you've got any question please write in the comment section below i'll try my best to get back to you if you have liked this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super good. You're going to learn lots, lots of new things. Please, if you have not subscribed, can you please join the family? Thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao.